if this doesn't work, we're going to take a peek at the solution because I think this should work now because we are connecting from the remote to our vice versa. I mean, I have zero idea what, what's uh, with VPN and configs, how they work, etc., etc. It's also taking its sweet time today. Maybe that's something good. Where's my shell? We are still waiting on the one in the back and it didn't work. Okay, now let's paste it in again. Maybe we can try to like use this one instead of having i'm too confused what's happening maybe this one should be the remote no okay it's time to check out what the solution tells us because i'm fairly certain i i don't know what else we could try so i don't want to waste anyone's time and let's go down to mm, okay so we were we kind of had it i just picked the i sh shouldn't have changed this ip uh, so this one should be the external one i should have gone with the external one here as well and here let's let's copy this to be safe let's update the file let's test the vpn look at that we are root what's in the root directory then since we can read it absolutely nothing ssh come on ssh we have known hosts okay all right all right yeah you know what let's just cd into home we have alex and dave so we have groups for dave which dave has sudo over here fantastic and we have groups for alex which also has sudo so let's go into dave and we have the user flag come on after almost a month of hacking into this thing, we finally got the user flag. Don't need no solutions no more. We got the user flag. Here we have SSH. What's this? I can SSH into this one. Oh, we should write that down. It's DNS, Zack. No, not an encryption key. Nice. So apparently we could theoretically proxy change SSH as Dave, right? SSH Dave at this one. And our password is the Dave Jew. Does it work? crazy we and we have set up an ssh session on the dns server which we are tunneled through via another ssh session this is ssh inception fantastic all right we are on this server and now is the time to find out what the heck is happening uh, we have the user but we have sudo right and the password we have it as well and now we have a root session via dns but the root flag is not here so we're still missing the root flag where could the root flag be now i have a suggestion we have this firewall you know now that we are on the dns server we're basically here to hack the firewall right so let's ping the firewall for once and let's curl Oh, the firewall. So what do we do with the firewall? I'm pretty sure we have to do something with the firewall, but I have no idea what we have to do with the firewall. What, how, I mean, I'm thinking of a couple of ideas. I just don't know if it's feasible enough. I mean, actually, yes, right? How can I build up a double chain? I need some way to do anything on that machine. I mean, I could try to SSH into this one. Then we don't have any SSH, right? Okay. Maybe we can get a hint from the challenge. So the challenge says PGP decryption. All right. Okay. So we know that we have to do something with PGP decryption. Let's look for some PGP stuff. Okay. We have this key server. Maybe that's a hint. I'm not too sure on that. We have a use agent. Okay. Use agent. Okay. That's it. All right. Fantastic. If I remember correctly, PGP is the tool to use GPG encryption, right? Okay. So it's not that tool that we need to crack. Maybe it's another one. This tool look empty anyway, so there is no uh, real usefulness to us opening this one up. We have any kind of agent, so we have nothing like this so we have something with gpg we have gpg i'm kind of lost to be honest i guess we'll have to run some tools to in on what we have going on in the first place right it's gonna be a pain first of all let's go to tools for that we have our link piece but we have to set it up like this the ip is this one so now first we have to they get it over here. Uh, what's it called? Please. I mean, maybe we find some interesting information. Now, over here, let's IPA. And we had to like reverse shell into this. 
this one. So we do a Python e dot server eight thousand. No, we can't. Ah, oh, come on. I have some issues with uploading the file here. Apparently, it doesn't like it. Uh, it says port twenty two is closed, even though we know for a fact it ain't. Maybe because I wrote Dave's instead of Dave. No, that's not the problem. Okay, so let's go with GPG help. What do we have here? So we have a couple of things going on. We have supported algorithms. Uh, so I'm not sure if they're all safe. We have ciphers. I'm pretty sure some of them aren't safe. Maybe AES is not safe anymore. We can sign, check, encrypt or decrypt. Okay, so we have D or decrypt which is what's happening by default okay so let's go outside in here let's go to GNU QGB yeah what I thought it it's 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 empty and how to sign verify okay let's verify something okay so we got nothing in here let's go back into pseudo mode I really want to access this data somehow I'm trying to find a way to hack this server now oh then we can we can do some basic enumeration by hand, you know, A, which is a 4.4 generic Linux. Maybe we can do like a quick exploit. We have Ubuntu 16. I mean, come on, this should be a piece of cake to hack into. And then let's just search for exploits for this one. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck am I doing? I don't want to exploit this machine. I can already be root on this machine. I want to access the firewall, which is this one. So this one was correct super confused okay now i don't know if we can gain anything from it but we have the lean keys in here and enum is certainly not a bad idea and now we nmap is available and we have on confi okay well we don't really care about this machine but now that we know that we have nmap we can essentially throw this enum crap out the window and do an nmap scan of the firewall which has this ip so we are just gonna nmap and do a quick scan. Let me check my obsidian cheat sheets if I didn't forget anything. Okay, so this is essentially my... What's happening here? I want this one. And now we scan for all ports and valid DNS servers with DNS server. DNS servers is the number four because that's the one we write, we're on, which is the DNS we just hacked. Let's open up a second session and... So Nmap, are you doing anything? Maybe we can find something with dig on this machine. Okay, are you telling me zero IPs are open? Uh, zero ports are open, sorry. So no, no port is open. Then how am I supposed to go to the firewall if our ports are closed? And why does the challenge say something about PGP or GPG encryption. Now, this is where it's getting kind of confusing.